Good evening, everyone. This is a 2018 session paper. So we discussed how we can plan an experiment from uh, paper six. A student is investigating the factors that affects the size of a crater. A ball makes a hole when it drops into a sand. Plan an experiment uh, which would enable us to investigate one factor which might affect the size of a crater. The apparatus available include a metal ball of different sizes and a tray of a sand. Write up a plan for the experiment. In your plan, you should state the factor to be investigated. So we want to investigate. It's up to you. Any factor you can investigate. You can investigate the height. What is the effect of height on the size of a crater? Like you change the height from which the ball is dropped. And observe how the size of a crater is affected by the change in the height. So the parameter which which we want to invest either or you can uh, change the size of a sphere to compare the size of a crater. So the factor which we can investigate here, we can investigate um, the effect of height on the size of crater. State the key variable that we'll control. So what we'll control, uh, amount of a sand and the size of a sphere which you are using, size of the mass of a sphere. List any additional apparatus, what we need, because we want to measure the, what size of a crater is produced. So the additional apparatus, what we can have, uh, we can use a meter rule or meter scale to measure the size and the, from a height which is dropped. Explain briefly, how would you carry out experiment? What uh, would be measured and how this will uh, this would be done? So what we will do, We'll measure the height and we will drop, drop the ball or a sphere. Then we'll repeat the experiment. with different heights and measure the size of crater. by two. Then state precaution, you should take we obtain a reliable result. So because we are measuring the height, so we should avoid a parallax error. Precaution, so we have to mention at least two. So we should avoid a parallax error. Parallax error due to the wrong position of eye, we may have a parallax error. What else we should do? We should uh, avoid pushing the ball downward or forcing the ball downward because that will also affect the size of a crater. So we should not uh, push the ball or throw the ball. We just simply drop the ball. We should drop the ball. instead of pushing it, otherwise it will affect the size of a pattern as well. Then suggest a suitable graph that would you, uh, so we can plot a graph between, because when we change the height, the size of a crater will change. So size of a crater is independent, uh, dependent variable and height is independent. So size should be there 
on size of a crater should be there on y axis and height from which we are dropping that should be there on x axis so we will plot a graph height on y axis and crater on size of a crater on x axis so this was experiment from uh, may uh, from uh, feb march session then we have another experiment from summer may june 2018 session that plan an experiment to investigate the size of air gap between a copper container and a large metal container on a rate of a cooling so we have a large container and we place a copper container inside and we are finding what will be the effect on rate of cooling for this gap size so we'll change the following apparatus available there is a copper container number of metal container of different diameters all larger than the copper so we have all large and thermometer is there stopwatch is there measuring cylinder is there and a supply of hot water you can also use other apparatus and a material that are usually available in a school lab in your plan you should explain how would you carry out the investigation so how we carry out rate of cooling experiment are always having a same trend so what we will do like we will take small container uh, we'll take a copper container and we will add 10 cm cube water hot water then we'll measure the initial temperature after me after measuring the initial temperature we will place the copper container into large container then we will measure the gap size and record the temperature for three minutes with 30 second interval like after every 30 second we'll measure a temperature and then we'll repeat the experiment with different containers different large containers because the copper container is fixed only the large container we will change to get the uh, to change the air gap between the two type of containers then key variables which we will control so surrounding temperature lab temperature amount of the liquid or volume of water which we are using the initial temperature is well you can mention many of them draw table or table so whenever rate of a cooling we are observing so we'll have and we can draw two uh, different tables for different gap size so here we have uh, time and temperature here also we have time and temperature for like example this is a gap size say 3 cm then this will be gap size 6 cm and so on and how would you use your re uh, reading to reach a conclusion so we'll plot a graph to observe a rate of a cooling or effect we'll al always plot a graph between temperature on y axis and time on x axis and the slope represent the slope represent the rate of cooling
and the last one from winter session a student investigating a relation between a power of electrical heater using a formula p equals vi plan an investigation to find a relation between power produced and a time for a heater uh, power pro uh, the electrical power power produced by electrical heater and the time taken to heat uh, to heat a beaker of a water the following apparatus available ammeter voltmeter variable 250 cm cube beaker is there a thermometer and a stopwatch so the student have other apparatus available complete a circuit diagram uh, to show a circuit that you will use so we have a heater this is a symbol for heater then to calculate the power of a heater we need voltage and we need current so to measure the voltage we'll connect a voltmeter and to measure a current will have connect an ammeter then the connection wires are there there will be a switch then how would you carry out the investigation so how will carry out the investigation like example we'll take 10 cm cube or take 20 cm cube of water we'll uh, measure the initial temperature then we we'll place the heater start the heater and the timer and record the time to change the temperature by 10 degrees or 20 degrees you can say and then we'll read the voltmeter and ammeter readings then state key variables which we will control so for this experiment the amount of water which we will use and we should repeat the experiment for uh, different values of a voltage because we are finding what is the effect of the power uh, on heating so we can change how we can change the power so we can repeat the experiment with different with different voltage and current so what we can do uh, like the variables which will control the amount of the liquid the water the initial temperature the final temperature volume of the water surrounding temperature lab temperature and uh, the amount of the Uh, the final temperature initial temperature these parameters should be constant then draw table because uh, what table we should have we'll have we are measuring voltage we are measuring current and we are measuring a time we can also calculate a power we can make a column for power so like we'll have voltage we'll have current we have power and that time to change the temperature by 10 degrees the so voltage is there current is there time is there uh, or you can have a power here p which is watts and then time will be there in second explain how would you use your results to reach a conclusion so we will plot a graph between a power changing the power will change the time so power should be on x axis because power is independent we change the power the time will change and time on y axis so we can plot a graph between 
the power and time to reach a conclusion or a result. So this was the experiment from 2018 session.